11 years in a row. All right, Nate, with these winter storms, usually they tell us which parts of Utah are going to be affected, but it sounds like this one is going to get all of us. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to, to get down south, but it's going to impact the entire state uh, right as we get into Sunday evening. Right now, pretty quiet in Park City uh, Mountain area. This is a silver load overlook, but it is snowing uh, as you head north uh, towards areas like Snow Basin. Pretty cal uh, calm conditions over the studio, just the wind out of the south ahead of the front uh, that's moving into the northern part of the state. Temperature-wise, we actually hit 43 degrees today, uh, which is just a little bit above average. Normal highs 40 uh, with the southwest uh, flow that's been in place. South winds at 11 miles an hour. Temperature of 37 degrees, but it feels like 29 with that wind chill. And the wind chill is really going to come into play as we get into tomorrow evening and Monday morning because <laughs> we've got a, a sliver of Arctic air that's going to be impacting much of northern, even central parts of the state. Uh, so increasing snow showers into Sunday. Wind and snow, of course, into tomorrow as well. So we're already seeing snow from about Weber County northward. We're going to see some accumulations as well. Uh, in fact, all of the valley locations uh, near the Wasatch Front and south along the I-15 corridor into Cedar City. Uh, we're expecting about two to five inches of snow into tomorrow evening. Dangerous wind chill mentioned that frigid temperatures are going to be hanging on into the middle of the week. In fact, it's going to take a while to rebound from just how cold we are going to get into early Monday, Tuesday. Uh, thanks to this uh, again, this uh, this slug essentially of cold air that's being driven south. Thanks to the area of low pressure that's diving southwest uh, near the west coast. So as that uh, cold air spills in, it's going to settle into the valley location. We have high pressure that's going to build in behind this exiting storm system that's going to make it hard for that cold air to mix out of the valleys. Uh, and temperatures are going to be uh, colder than normal throughout much of the week heading into next week, uh, even with high pressure in place. Uh, so as far as cold temperatures go, we've got wind chill uh, and watches that have been issued for much of the West Desert, portions of the northern Wasatch Front. Uh, the Bear River Valley is expected to have wind chills anywhere from minus 20 to minus 30. This is Sunday evening into Monday morning. Minus 10 to minus 20 from about Brigham City north to the Idaho state line. And we're expecting anywhere from zero, this is the feels like temperature, to about minus 10 for northern Wasatch Front. Anywhere from 10 degrees down to about zero for Salt Lake and Utah counties as well. If we time it out for you a little bit more, again, the front will eventually slide the snow shower activity throughout the entire state as we get into tomorrow afternoon into central Utah. And then again, to the southwest corner as we get into Sunday evening and early Monday. In fact, snow showers will linger into Monday afternoon and evening across the southeast corner. Could even have a little bit of wraparound moisture lingering in other parts of the state, generating some light snow showers Monday evening in central Utah. Snowfall amounts again, heaviest concentrations will be over the highest peaks. Could see a good foot of snow with what moisture is going to fall. Mentioned about oh, two to five inches or so for some of the valley locations. Benches slightly higher amounts. St. George forecast, plan on increasing clouds tomorrow. Moisture arrives late in the evening hours. 52 degrees for the high breezy winds. Rain snow showers on Monday. Might see a little bit of snow with temperatures being cold enough, uh, but over to a wintry mix as temperatures warm up. We'll be in the mid 40s to upper or upper 40s by the end of the week. The Wasatch Front, 33 degrees, breezy wind, snow showers, bitter cold temperatures into Monday. Light snow showers can uh, lingering. Temperatures though just 20 degrees for the high, mid 20s on Tuesday, highs in the mid to upper 30s. Finally by Thursday, Friday, could see a weak system clip us though Friday into early Saturday. Highs will be right near average on Saturday as well, about 40 degrees. Rick. All right. Thank you very much, Nate.